Hello, this is Astro Breeze, and we are going to look at the coming transits for Kanye West. This is a very interesting time for him. Very interesting. <laughs> so, well, let's look and see what we can see. So right now, um, I kind of like to start with the outer planets and then work our way in. But there's some very interesting things here. Um, he's got right now transiting Pluto is in his seventh house of relationships and open enemies. And it is at 26 degrees Capricorn. And it is almost exactly squaring his natal Mercury at 26. I'm sorry trining his natal Mercury at 26 Taurus. So we've got an earth sign, Capricorn and you know Pluto, and then his, his um, natal Mercury in Taurus, both earth, earth, earth. So that's interesting. You know, we've got the, a really good, a really good vibe with that mercurial energy, you know, and then him being a rapper, you know, that's what he does. You know, he's wordsmiths. He brings his stuff out, you know, and he's got, the, you know, the sun in Gemini, but then he's a deep thinker with, with that, um, with the Mercury being in that earthy Taurus. You know, it's not as quick as, uh, you know, being in Gemini, but that gives a lot of depth. And uh, people tend to think that it's, it's slow, but it's not. It digests, it thinks about it. it, it it's slow to to just knee jerk react, which is good. I think it balances that that Gemini sun quite quite well. Okay, so that is giving him the voice to look at the dark side, to call out the crap. And that's what he's exactly doing right now. And look at that is exact. I mean, it, it's like within, you know, minutes. So that's pretty cool. I love astrology. Okay, so that's that's one thing that's happening right now. So he's got, you know, making open enemies <laughs> for sure. For show. Sure. All right. What else is going on with him? Um, uh, Saturn has, is just, you know, almost exact on his son. You know, this, his son is 17 degrees. You know, it was, and it's retrograding. So it's going over it again. It's getting, you know, it won't hit it directly now. It'll be close, but it's also, um, uh, it's also making a nice aspect. It's trining his sun. You know, we've got that air sign of Aquarius, and then we've got the air sign of, of you know, the Gemini sun. So that's nice. Again, that's giving him kind of like, you know, the sun, your ego, Saturn, that moral authority. And, you know, it's in its other natural sign, you know, before we, we assigned, you know, the old rulership, before we signed, assigned it to um, Uranus, you know, Saturn rules uh, Capricorn and Aquarius. So it is in its sign of, I think, more progressive thinking, more progressive rules, um, but trining over to his son right now. And that's, you know, he's being a voice. And what did he just buy parlor also? You know what he he started to call out a few things and some of the venues were canceled. I mean, I don't know the whole nine yards. I start here part of how how it all became undone. And then he said, you know, screw that. I'm just going to I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Well, let's look and, and see kind of how this is going to progress. So we have that happening right now. And. um, Gosh, there's so much, actually, there's he's got quite a bit. Um. So also Saturn is transiting his eighth house, you know, that's other people's resources, you know, so that could be like other people's have cut off things from him, which we know that just happened. <laughs> and, and um, he's having to redo that. So he's kind of, you know, putting a thumb up the nose there, but he's got, it's not going to be smooth ride for sure. It's not going to be smooth. Okay. What else has he got? Um, well, let's let's go over here and look at Mars because Mars, you know, is over here in Gemini, you know, and he's a, he's a Gemini Sun and Jupiter in Gemini, and Mars is just about to go retrograde, so it it just went over, you know, his Jupiter and his Sun, so he had, you know, that forward Mars moving, you know, that aggressive energy to push through all of this stuff is just happening since since August when Mars went over, you know, it it went into Gemini, so it was like the twentieth, so probably early Mars or um, 
uh, August had started to transit over his his Jupiter, giving that energy to to do what he's doing. And then it just went over his sun and it's slowing down. It's been slow, slow, slow. It's still conjuncting the sun. It's not, you know, it, it, the sun is big. You know, they usually allow a pretty big orb here. So it's going to retrograde back over the sun and over his Jupiter. So that's fortunate that, you know, it backing up over that for him. And then it'll go again. So I really think he's stirring up stuff um, and it's going to go his way. I, I, I really see that, that, you know, Mars is retroing. He may have to go redo some things, uh, part of that. But I think that's very fortunate. I think there's a very fortunate time for him to be doing that, uh, what he's doing. And then, um, you know, his progressed moon is going to be going over Saturn too. So that might be, you know, he he knows he's on the line. He knows he may be, you know, partly cutting off his nose a little bit despite his face, but um, I don't know, people like cosmetic surgery, <laughs> psychic cosmetic surgery, maybe. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. Another one. Look at this exact Mercury and then, you know, transiting Mercury now is over his Pluto. Whoa. So didn't we just have a Mercury Pluto aspect? Yeah. Traveling or transiting Pluto is making a trine to his Mercury and transiting Mercury is now making a conjunction. It's right over his natal Pluto. How interesting is that? And look at this. He is calling out this, this stuff. Look at both planets on both ways, on both good aspects. A conjunction could be intense, though. I mean, just say that. They're not always good, like wonderful, like trines, but um, it's intense. But being that the other one that's just like that, you know, the same pair, you know, Mercury and Pluto are, are over there in a trine. And then he's got the conjunction. I think the intensity is worth it. Um, you know, the, the, the fact that he just stirred that stuff up. And also uh, Venus just went over his north node, which is fortunate. You know, the sun went over that. Um, but we've got, however, <laughs> we got that great word. However, the sun is going to conjunct, um, you know, it's yearly conjunction of uh, Uranus. So we could have some unusual twists and turns, something to his ego. You know, people are going to be attacking him um, all over the place. But then Venus is going to go over and conjunct his Uranus. Um so there's, you know, values, uh, feminine aspect, you know, sudden things. I don't know. There's a lot, you know, maybe, maybe people, maybe he's going to bring a conscious attention um, to a lot of topics and really hit people in their, in their values. So it's like, look at this stuff. Look at how you've been fooled. Look how you've been duped. Look at this. And he's got the communications, you know, with this double uh pluto mercury kinds of transits that's going to call it out and then with the venus you know and, and venus and um uh the sun you know are going well yeah you know you may not know but they are going to conjunct together and then they're going to walk into scorpio together and then they might be here let me just show you let me see i think i can animate that for you all right so watch okay so right now on the Okay, this would be the 20th of October. You could see down in the bottom of the screen, Venus, um, 27 Libra and the sun, 27 Libra. And watch, they're going to just take a both of them, 28. Now, Venus jumps ahead of the sun. You know, they're both 29. And then they both go, you know, on, on the uh, Sunday, the 23rd, they both go into Scorpio together, zero degrees. And look at, and Venus is going to go over um, his, it looks like, let's see. Well, see, first the moon. Okay, so he we can expect some heat or some stuff going on for him through the weekend. And then maybe next Tuesday, something else more because uh, moon is gonna go over his Uranus. So sudden, you know, something sudden, emotional, um, I mean, intuitive flash, intuitive connection, sudden uh, connection coming out of the blue or something like that with, with the moon going over Uranus. And then here, let's look now. Um, here's Venus pulling ahead of the sun. There it is at seven and eight. So what day is this? The 29th. Venus is um, right over his Uranus. So there would be, you know, um, something of sudden 
uh, you know, sudden Uranus or out of the blue. Um, and then, you know, we've got the Venus uh, values, women, relationships, who knows what that is. It could be a lot of things. And then the next day, um, the sun, actually two days later on Halloween. Interesting. We just have to watch and see what happens. But then the sun goes right over his the Uranus as well. So, and then followed, look at not too long after that, um, on November 3rd, his, his um, Mercury is going over Uranus. So there could be some twists and turns here, people. Some really interesting twists and turns because we're going to watch all those planets go conjunct his Uranus. And Uranus, again, the planet of sudden things, out of the blue, intuitive flashes. And he's very intuitive. You know, he's very intuitive. He's got, if you see my other video, we go over his chart, his natal chart with his um, Pisces, very, very sensitive Pisces moon. And um, 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 God, I'm getting distracted over here. I'm seeing something else. And his uh, nice sensitive Cancer rising. But I'm just looking over here that now, look at this on this date on November 3rd, we have the moon, transiting moon at this time is over his moon as well. He's going to be in the news for a while on many levels. Look at this, at least for the next few weeks. Um, look at this moon, moon. He's got some stuff going on. He knows <laughs> that, you know, that's very intuitive that, that, I mean, it happens once a month, but just the timing you know, right when Mercury, and here again, look at this again. So here we got the same kind of, you know, the same energy just keeps dinging on here. He's going to be, I tell you, a voice or something to, to be reckoned with. It's got going on. All right, let me see what else we got. We can go into so much, but, um, you know, for sake of time, I just wanted to hit on some of the major themes here. Okay, so again, we have the suddenness of, of the, you know, transiting Uranus also will be going over his Mercury. It's not real soon, you know, well, the, within this next, I don't know, probably six months or so. Um, so there again, we get the same themes. Look at Uranus, Mercury, Mercury, Uranus, Mercury, Pluto, Moon. You know, it's like we've got some really interesting themes keeping to re repeating here. Uh, what else was the big ones going on here? Oh, those are the big ones for him. I think that's enough. You know, they, we, these videos can get long, but I wanted to keep it kind of tight and um you know basically he's got he's got the voice right now he's he's really making waves he's got the 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 voice to bring truth he's got the sensitivity and the knowledge and the intellect to see the crap and he's got the voice and the connections to sing to sing it loud to sing it loud that's all i gotta say sing it loud kanye all right hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to more bye now